Charlie Cushane here to do another mod in my camper. And this time I'm going to deal with something called ghost power. And that's, those are devices in your RV that constantly draw power. And we're all trying to conserve power in our RV. I mean, we never want to drain our batteries when we're boondocking, things like that. So whenever you can eliminate some of these ghost powers, you want to. This is where I have ghost power, right here in my radio. It came stock from the factory. It has power to it. Um, you could turn it on, as you could see, and music starts playing. But when you turn it off, it still has power. And that's what we want to get rid of today. So stick around. Okay, my goal today is to get rid of this power that's always onto this radio. I mean, the only reason you'd want power is it would save the pre-programmed radio stations. But we travel all over the country, so we never save stations. And this light that you see, this blue light, is always on. And for some people, sleeping, that's not a good thing. So I want to be able to turn it off and actually make this whole thing dead all the time. And then flip this little switch I got and mount it right down here and that will kill the power to it all the time and then we when we want the radio on we flip the switch and we're off and running so let's get the, taking this out okay the first thing we have to do to get this project started take the bezel off and then remove the four screws okay the first thing I have to do is find which wire I have to cut I checked all the wires and they're labeled and there was a couple of powers, so I found the right one by actually finding a fuse on a yellow wire. And I pulled the fuse out, and sure enough, the power went off to the radio. So I knew that was the one I had to splice into. Next, I took and measured and found the exact spot I wanted to put the switch. So I got my step drill, and knowing exactly where to drill depth-wise for the right size hole, then I actually put the switch in and fed the wires through and up and then with the fuse pulled out I cut the yellow wire spliced it to my switch and voila done all right let's just put this all back in here it sort of just all fits in here loose there we go and put some screws back in There we go. Cover. There we are. Okay, here's the final test of the installed system. You see the radio completely off. Nothing. You th flip my switch, and there it comes on. And there it is. I can change the channel, whatever I want. Okay, who we fired? And there we go. Now we're not, it's off like before, but when I want it to kill all the power, it takes a second and there it goes. All power is off. No more ghost power for me. Another great mod. As another example of ghost power, here's a beautiful light my friend has in his truck camper. And it looks off, right? But there's no on off switch. It's a touch switch. See, the blue light, and then the regular light comes on, and you can turn it off. But the fact that you can touch it, and it comes on, means it's always drawing power. So this is an example of a light that works great, looks great, but even when it's off, it's drawing power. The sensor is waiting for you to touch it, and that's how it works. So this is an example of ghost power and in my camper I always have lights with an actual on off rocker switch not a touch switch because touch switches are always on and always drawing power even when they're off so keep that in mind